tebe nuzh nga bëstraje mëshinë. Lajka, nuzh me nëspativ një avtomobil. Lajka, veli qesa e sovetska mëshinë. Lajka, sa me moshna e djega tilë. Lajka, veli qesa e podveska. Zekda, dhjese për spot, veli qesa e mëshinë e rodene. Silno za rodino, otlicno dje nasi strani. Dromozit za sekundi. Va! Pozitit svoj prosë ju së gudnja. Si vosin ti shjes rubli. Lajka, mire qeshaj avtomobili. Hello, Wang Automotive here again, back with automation. The car company tycoon game. We're here to make something a little nice and interesting. An 80s Soviet sports car, which means it's going to be heavy, slow, and most likely garbage and I need to make a rat well it needs to be a rather interesting body style because I set the time to 1980 which when the Soviets were well, kind of at the decline which is actually just after the Afghanistan war starting in 79 which ooh, this this body style already a 75 coupe it's perfect I, I yeah it's I'm gonna use this body style uh, two doors 2 plus 2, beautiful. Now, chassis material. Let's see. I'm gonna go with steel. Um, maybe a unibody. Yeah, steel. Longitudinal. I'm confused on suspension. I'm, I'm, it might be coils or leaves all around, but it could. I might make a McPherson strap just to be interesting. Mm, let's see. Actually, actually, I might go for. I might go for double wishbones. Double wishbones all around. Now, I need to make a new engine first because I have nothing that bad. And, uh, Leica Auto Company three cylinder. Why not? In line three. Let's go cast and make this thing as small as possible. I am talking horrendous lawnmower engine. All right, that's what I'm thinking about. Lawnmower engine. And basically just make it what, like, what 20 it, actually no i think the i think the waters had like 60 horsepower so and they had inline fours so it's something like that and we're going about 300 cc casts cast more cast everything everything has to be cast i had and the carburetor single carb si one single carburetor compact make it tiny as usual exhaust compact cast single exhaust no color converters we're in the soviet union no, actually no. Baffled, and there's going to be no second muffler. Ooh, lovely. 9.3 horsepower. Mm. Okay, after a little bit of dibbly dabbling, we've got 10.1 horsepower, and now we can start on the actual body. <laughs> Now, the actual actually no, it needs to be red, but this isn't red enough. I'm talking very red, horrendously red. I actually have to make a new color with no metallics because this is the Soviets. I don't think they had metallic paint at the time. So yeah, that's about right. Um, name, name, name. C C C P red. That sounds about right. Perfect. Communist car, communist color. About as communist as he gets. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? And actually, I wonder what steel wheels it should use. If you're wondering what the CCP means, it's actually uh, the Russian version of USSR. Because, of course, United Soviet Socialist Republics, if you turn that into Russian, uh, and the anagram or whatever, the short shorthand for the Russian version of United Socialist Soviet Republics, starts with CCCP, and that, that's what they actually put on their Olympic uniforms, and all the rockets and all that stuff, it was all CCCP, and uh, ooh, that's flat, mm, interesting, but yeah, I'm gonna choose steel wheels, because I don't think they had alloy rims in the Soviet Union, so you know, obviously, now, if, if you're wondering what design I'm going for, I'm going for something Soviet, which means maybe Western, kind of Western-ish, a little 
similar to Western car design, but it's different. You can tell it's a knockoff, kind of. Basically, that's exactly what I'm going for. And、uh, I actually, I'm going. I'm actually, if you look at the design of this rear end, I'm actually really proud of that entire rear fascia. It's actually really nice. I like it a lot. Of course, I don't. I didn't really know what to do with the indicators because, you know, I. I where do you put indicators on this thing? The body mold itself is really weird. But anyway, this is the final design of the car. You can tell I actually I'm not really proud of it. Put CCCP on the side, and there's the LAZ logo. The interior of this thing is obviously very posh. Actually, it comes with a sunroof as well. I mean, look at that interior. I'm actually really proud of this.、Uh, red accents because it's communist. All the other lovely things. I mean, it just this is a really nice interior. And plus,、uh, it says 100 miles an hour. It's not going 100 miles an hour. I'd be surprised if this thing reached know, 50 or something. But、um, actually, I'm, the zero to 60 on automation says no. <laughs> Basically, no zero to sixty. This thing's not reaching zero to. This thing's not. According to automation, this thing won't go sixty miles an hour. So we're gonna have to find that out. But actually, if you look at the lights and everything, I'm actually really proud of this design. And it says three hundred cc because that's the size of the engine. I actually decided to name it Ten P Sports because、uh, look at the engine here. <laughs> look how small it is. Right, front end of this car. I'm really enjoying this design. I can't wait to actually put an engine in it next episode. So now it's in BMG, and we will go look at it. As we look at the design,、uh, some bugs, I think. I don't know. Let's go look at the interior. But、uh, light check. Ooh, yes. Nice little fog lamps there as well. Hmm. Very good. Very good. And then. Ooh, yes. There's the brake lights on the side there. Very nice. And the reverse lights. You know, to be expected, and then here's the indicators. The indicator on each side. I actually really like this indicator design. Interior posh as usual. Very nice interior.、Um, I don't know what's happening with the doors and stuff here. It wasn't like that in automation. All right. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that pollution. Not much pollution as a boy, but it's actually a four cylinder. <laughs> Gotta love unleaded gas. But I.、Uh, It's it's horrendously slow. It's、uh, just what the. Okay, what the what happened? So as it turns out, once you press the gas and let go of the gas, the、uh, drivetrain commits suicide. I don't know why this happens. It just happens every single time you let off the gas. So there's a very particular way to actually drive this thing. So once you actually begin to drive it, you can't let off the gas ever, never, unless it's idle. And we're gonna do it zero to sixty on this thing. Let's see here. Oh, stalled. Oh, oh, that's really nice. Come on, come on. There we go. See, this thing is very complicated to drive. Like other most Soviet vehicles, the very intricate way of driving. If you do it wrong, the car will explode. The transmission will lose something. But、uh, basically, basically how this thing、uh, you have to actually have to operate this thing is so at idle anything under a thousand RPM you can let off the gas fine. Once you go above a thousand RPM, you can't let go of the gas because if you do, the entire drivetrain explodes. So what you're gonna have to do is once you press on the gas, you have to hit the brakes while on the gas to actually slow the car down back to an under a thousand RPM. So it doesn't explode. Very intricate, isn't it? Complicated. And I've been sitting here for the past seven minutes waiting for this thing to go 60 miles an hour, but it's at 59. I'm not kidding. I say it's 60. It's been at 59 for the past four minutes. I'm not kidding about this. If you look at the editor, like look at this, look at this. All at 59 miles an hour. It just it doesn't go to 60. Zero to 60. No. It doesn't happen. I'm sorry. Now we're gonna go to the virtual race or track. I'm, I'm speeding it up because it's the slowest lap in the world. Look at this time. Look at it. It's horrible. Look at this car. My lord, it's the worst vehicle of all time. You can't find the worst vehicle. If you drive it the wrong way, it explodes. Okay. Gosh. This is even worse than actual real-life Soviet cars. I've somehow made Soviet cars worse. I've 
this vehicle has single-handedly tarnished the reputation of the Soviet Union for climate power. Well, not that its reputation is any good anyway. But yes, this is Wagner's motive anyway. Of course, I will see you in the next video where we will be fixing this piece of junk. Actually, no, it might be after the one where... F well, no, it might be after the SUV one. Uh, I'll figure out an upload schedule for the next episode. But in the meantime, subscribe, comment your ideas down below. And remember, don't buy Soviet cars. Anyway, good day.